Hey everybody, hopefully you uh, can oh. uh, hear us okay. Um, we are live now and uh, we're going to get started. Uh, hi everyone in chat, we've been chatting a bit with you guys. And hi, I'm watching chat today. And I'm Greg. David. And uh, we're going to unbox this legend. So uh, as soon as you guys can see us, uh, just say hi in the chat just to make sure that we're live, and then we will uh, start the unboxing. I'm sure they can see it. Just turn this on. Great. That's I'm glad to hear it sounds great. All right. So I'm going to cut, because you don't want to see me. Oh. So I'm going to go to this view, and hopefully it, everyone can see okay, and we'll start opening her up. So... I also ordered some 2209s. I'm really hoping they shipped in this box. <laughs> but we will find out. Beauty. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's, that's okay. They can see the other cameras. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, oh my goodness. So, so many ducks. I'm not sure. What, I'm not sure what that is. It's a. It's supposed to be a, a thing. flashing thing of some sort. It's a, it's a, it's a uh, safety I'm not, light. Not sure what that is. And I got a helmet. Uh, Peppa Pig a helmet, I think. Safety first. And a duck. A propeller. You know what this stuff reminds me of? Those uh, Christmas poppers that, you know, when yeah. you pop, you get all the... the and stuff. some sort stuff. of sunglasses, I think. Nice. You can all put right. them on the duck. So we'll put... We'll just set that aside. All right. And I'm not sure what that is. That's the thing. All right. So... Like we've got a, a legend manual. Shows us everything that it comes with. Looks like fairly good pictures in it. Ooh, wait, go back. Oh, yeah, there. Kurt Kira. Modern Kira. Wow. Modern Kira. It's not 15 anymore. That's pretty impressive, actually. Yeah. And they have a Pikachu slicing, an SKR diagram. Okay, so I'll hand that to you. There you go. We got a small spool of looks like white PLA high quality white uh, I don't think I'll open this I'll save it save it for lithophane yeah, or something the world's smallest lithophane um, North American power cord beauty a uh, spool holder with only one screw so uh -oh. <laughs> so hopefully the other one's in the box it's a mystery spool all right we got some tools what do we have here? We got, we got a nipper, USB cable, SD card, some. Oh, here's a here's I think our missing screw. We got some Allen keys, a card reader. Actually, an on-brand card reader, Data Traveler. Oh, there you go. Yeah. And my 2209s are here! Yay! So I'm going to set these aside. That's for a different video. Oh, I'll take them. No. Oh, but oh. he never shares the fun. Okay, place. so I'm going to. I'll give you the tools though. Okay. Thank you, Vanna. That stuff goes on the deck. Oh, oh! I got it. I got it. All right. So, so they say that stuff goes on the duck. On the duck, okay. Well, I I'll, may have to add that to the next video. So, um, I think there's nothing else in here. It's all packed. Um, someone on chat last night was saying that theirs came damaged and it wasn't packed very well. But I gotta say that this uh, this thing's like it's packed quite well. So we can just toss that back there. So. Um, I'm not. I don't see any damage. Everything looks okay. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. I'm playing with the dock. Okay, so 
Okay, so the base is comes out as a separate piece, so I'm just going to set that aside right now. Man, you have so many hands, Greg. Thank you, David. And then the gantry looks like it's one, it's, piece. It's one piece, so we'll set that aside oh. and see if there's anything else in the box. Here's a well, nut. there's the... Okay, so we have all the pieces. It just uh, got loose in the shipping. I don't know that there's anything else in the box. Okay, so that looks that looks like it. The, the box is empty. No more box. So I think what we'll do is I'm going to just take the base over here so everyone can see it. Um, and uh, looks like this has got standard bind, binder clips holding on, and I believe it's just supposed to be. Um, Kind of or is it glass or something? Yeah, it's it's a textured glass. So I'm just going to see if I can get it off. Well you can get it off. <clears throat> it's kind of caught on one of the wheels. There we go. So it is. It's a actually uh, no, this is that um it's the, the it's glass. it's it's very similar to the the ultra base. It's textured. Hard to see on video. I was reading um, somewhere that this is the same stuff as a uh, TikTok uses. Yeah, it's it's and then just glass. So I'm just going to set that aside. Um, looks pretty straight, which is nice. Um, it's got uh, all metal tensioner, which is nice also. And uh, if anyone can see that. Uh, let's see if I can get a better view there. It's got uh, insulation underneath the uh, bed to oh, hold yeah. in the heat, which is, and it's got the blue springs, which are the a little more the, firm, the thicker gauge for sure. Yeah, yeah. A little then, bit more sturdy than the ender. Right there. Then at the yeah. back here, all of our connections are plugs, so you don't have to dig into the board, which is kind of nice. Yeah, and this gantry looks pretty. And they kindly enough set it to North American 110 power for us. Whoa. So it's not going to take 72 hours to heat. No, it should be pretty good. <laughs> um, and it's a fused power supply. Is it 10 amp fuse in there? It's it uh, a good question. Hold on, I got this. Um, sorry about the light, guys. Doesn't say the fuse amperage, so. I'm sure it's probably. Okay. Um, do you guys want to see in the bottom? No, nobody wants to see the bottom. I kind of want to open it up and have a look. Greg opens things up. That's what Greg does. Uh, this is an Allen. There's a little more light there, buddy. No, I, I'm good. Are you sure? Cause yeah, because can... uh, it blows out the video. Oh. Uh... So they have uh, some rubber feet on the bottom holding the cover on. I feel like I'm watching. 34, that's 24. Okay, okay. Maybe 24 volts. All right, so we'll see what kind of power supply is in here. The silicone dampers kind of serve a different purpose than the blue springs. So the blue springs actually match the gauge of the yellow springs on the Caldi printers, if you're familiar with those. So that's kind of, they're just more stiff. So I'm going to just turn on the light. Hopefully I don't blow you guys out here. Um, I want to just have a quick look. It is not a Meanwell power supply. It's just a 360 watt, 24 volt power supply. It says made in China. So no, no Meanwell in here. Ooh, electrical tape. They uh, used electric, they extended uh, some wires Ooh. here and then they, to hold the connector together, they've electrical taped it, it instead of hot glue. So eh, I'm okay with that. Um, and then it's got the standard 4988 uh, steppers 
in here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure which is better. Uh, I'll move up a little bit so you can see. So there's our SKR. We've got our connectors on the side. The uh, touch board is there. This is the all touch one. It's not like the last video I did. It's it's also got the Wi-Fi module spot on it. it. Has the world's smallest 4010 cooling fan for your board, and yeah. then it's got the exhaust fan right beside it. Yeah. So all in all, it looks okay. I think I can put this back together, and we'll. <laughs> I get it now. They're calling it 24 because all of the split screens. You know how they do the 24. Oh, <laughs> TV show. got it. Next time we'll go for more of a James Bond. You know, I, I can switch uh, camera views here if you like. Oh, but it's fun. You know, I've got a few different uh, camera views. Yeah, you can turn that off. Actually, that's. Maybe I'll leave that on for now. We're just putting screws back in. Sorry, it's really bright. And thank you for explaining the 24 episode because I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll, uh, do you like the multicam view better than the single cam view? Because I can definitely keep it on the multicam view if, uh, uh, if you like that better. So one thing, just uh, I'll throw it out there with the uh, electronic setup inside um, most of it was good I don't think electrical tape is a, a good solution for um, covering those slice wires like heat shrink would be better yeah and I'm sh uh, from other manufacturers you would see that but the price of this printer they would have had to make concessions somewhere so yep. all right okay I'm gonna flip it over yeah we can flip it over and we'll see if there the iris will readjust i'm going to go back to our multi-cam view multi-cam 24 we got to save the president okay so let's get the uh gantry where's the screws uh they should be in the i handed them to you i think they're right there oh uh, really no that's it right now aha all right so one two I think you. Huh? There should only be six, I think. There's eight, I think. It's seven. Maybe eight. Screw M4 times eight, and I think that's this whole bag. So you get huh? one bag of screws. Yeah. So. I got it. One bag of screws, M4 by eight. So. Um, yeah, so it's. Uh, it's definitely more assembled than uh, something like the Ender. Yeah, definitely. Um, or, or a kit like, <laughs> ain't it? <clears throat> Not that I have an A net sitting right beside me. Yeah. Um, this might be my replacement for my A net. We'll have to see. Andrew likes the multi cam thing. Okay, well, we'll keep up the multi cam. Do you, do you want us to add more? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how many cams can we get on? One camera per hand. <laughs> I have a microscope too, we could hook up. Whoa. If you really want to go crazy. Okay, I'm gonna brighten it up. Sorry if the exposure goes too much. Oh no, that's actually really good. If it's too bright, let me know. So uh, just shout out to the group. How many people are using uh, the uh, like an SKR 1.3 or the Dip Mini or, or a Pro even? How many people have that hardware? to keep it loose for now while I get the other parts in. Hopefully I don't get scare anyone off of my bald spot here. Well that's what that glare was. I know. Yeah. Sorry, sorry guys. So literally eight screws this guy's together. So yeah it's it's actually amazingly the way they've set up the base of this printer too. Um, I don't know if anybody set up like a, a TiVo a machine or the Creality stuff, but without that uh, 4040, it's actually leveled on the bottom. So the chances of having an un unlevel 
gantry or frame that you have to fix out of the box is almost zero. It's a springed coupler on the um, Z axis, if anyone's wondering. Um, it's not a solid coupler. Timothy, did you uh, did you build a Core XY from scratch, or do you have a, a kit one, or, or how'd you get that? So this is just the four screws. And yeah, that's it. It's eight screws. That's the whole instructions to put it together. Okay. Eight screws, then plug all the wires in. All right. So that tape inside might have just been an LED line, judging from these parts. But. Well, uh, yeah, it could be. There are um, an LED on the hot end. So I'm just going to uh, jump in front of Greg a little bit. But uh, this page is the entire instructions for setting the gantry up. And it's literally put screws and gantry. It's... I gotta say, compared to the Ender we put together the other day, um, uh, it is definitely less less involved. <laughs> well, in all fairness, though, we didn't really put the Ender. Together. Well, we watched people we watched, and then we then, got to judge it. Yeah, <laughs> we were harsh judges. And then, and then David cheated. <laughs> oh, nice! You have a tornado uh, cube. That's pretty wicked. Okay, so I'm gonna. Dip this. You want the box or something? Or, um, or should we get here? What here. No, I'm good. Okay. There we go. Hey, uh, uh, non branded soda to the rescue. Okay. So um, the other thing I'll point out is they did label all of the cables nicely, quite, too. Quite nicely. And if you lose said labels, they're all labeled in the manual, too, for you. That, that's actually pretty good, I gotta say. <coughs> two. Timothy, I got a SKR 1.3 with 2208s and UART in my Core XY. I, I think you've probably seen it if you watch the video on the channel, but the uh, Haya SX4. Um, and that thing's a, a beast of a printer. And what do we got here? I think that one is... It doesn't really say on that one. Is it this one? Could be. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And then that. And that would be our hot. So the so. manual to the rescue. <laughs> and then the blue and the, yeah. That would be here. Beauty. Oh, 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 hey, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, uh, make sure you're not, uh, is, is this, uh, that's all correct? You don't want to be tangled around your. No, we're okay. I'm just going to lower the. Yeah, because you want that all behind it, not in front. Our good friend Cass did that. All right. Are so you sure that's not over the Bolden coupler, funny? Like, shouldn't it come back this way? I guess it could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah there you go. Right. There you go. Yeah. 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 Good, good call. Good yeah. call, David. And they made them yellow and oh. white, appropriate and with check the. Check that out. Yellow. And they color coordinated. coordinated. Yellow, I can't speak. White. And the cool part is, is they they went ahead and thought like three pin, two pin. Yeah, oh, I'm I'm actually very they they did a very nice job. And these breakout boards that these plugs are in are cheap. Can you... Inexpensive, would you say? Okay, um where does this blue one go? In theory you could oh, flash ah, that firmware uh here's but the you're gonna run into problems because the pinout is different on those boards. So you're probably going to want to like take the firmware and just edit the board and then you could compile it and run it again. It'll work fine. So this one is a little unusual. Um, the end stop is on the back oh, yeah. it's gonna hit of, there. of the gantry. And it looks like they've actually planned right here, it's like flat. So the edge is flat all along where that X to, uh, yeah. end stop's going to hit. All right. So I'm... So... I'm pretty impressed so far with the the uh, setup. Um, do you want to hand me the power cable? I would love to hand you the power. You're not done yet though because you have a cool holder after. 
Yeah, but that's fine. Although I just you can probably not I, put that on. <laughs> well, uh, I'm going to grab my nippers. Oh, nippers. Did you get nippers? With I did. Set? I oh. got nippers with it. So I have now have... I have four sets. Two sets of yeah. nippers. Okay, so I'm going to just plug in the power cord. You know, I've been talking with a lot of people about the SKR uh, E3 Mini Diff board especially um, that have been having a lot of problems with uh, UART mode and the BL Touch working at the same time. Um, so I'm not sure if that's a sign or just a couple bad boards. Huh? It's kind of weird, but yeah, the E3 Diff and the Mini are different pinouts, so you're going to want to watch um, when you're compiling firmware for that. Okay, so now, um, do we want to put the glass? So they give you the glass pl plate and then they give you, gave the binder clips, but they gave the really the huge, huge binder clips. And I really don't like those binder clips. So I believe I have another small set. So I will have to We'll switch them out. I'll have to switch them out later. So so just a little bit about this hot end carriage. You've got cooling on both sides, which is yes. fantastic. Do you have a front camera? Uh, well, I have, this, can, I have this, a side camera we that can turn we can it move. This way. Oh, this. Ah, na -na. And then... And then... Oops. And then to the back, and then there. Whoop. Oh, catch the glass. There you go. So we'll get that on. There. So it's a really... Dave Mac says hi. Hi, Dave Mac. Um, it's... The hot end construction is really similar, actually, to, like, Creality clones, except you have two cooling fans on either side. So you got part cooling from either side. Now, just feeling underneath that duct, they're just actually slots. So they haven't put anything underneath to direct the air. They're just blowing straight out of the blower. So um, it's a little loose. So I'm yeah, gonna we'll just see, tighten that up. I'm gonna see. Oh wow, yeah. What? Uh, I think you just gotta tighten those oops. in. And we're gonna have a more in-depth. <laughs> yeah, I'll do a complete product review on it. Um, I, actually, I'm going to pull this off because I'm not actually sure what kind of hot end they they have put in here. That's an interesting point. And like the hmm. Bowden tube is some weird black it's, clony stuff. Yeah, um, we'll see how well that works. There's no coupler on the top or uh, no holder on the top of the coupler too. So it's just setting in there. So, okay, that's interesting. The, it's not. Oh, so it's, it's a volcano-ish. It's a, yeah, it's a volcano. Wow, it's really hard to see. It's a volcano-esque hot end. hot end. You've got a nice silicon boot on that and a nice long heat zone. Yeah, um, and it, the cover bolts right to the cold zone there. Yeah, that's, that's almost like the, uh, um. The SX4. Yeah. That, so I got a video coming out where I upgraded the hot end on that one. So that'll be exciting. Okay. So I'm going to put it back together now. Promises, promises. And uh, we'll have to get that bolt that I dropped. So one thing I'll say is it is using like the small 30, 30, 30, 10 fan on the front to cool that hot zone, um, which isn't bad, but I can already tell it's going to be louder than... Uh, like the uh, any cubic, uh, any cubic Chiron CR10 Ender, anything with a 40. Is there anything I can hold, or is it just no? Weird? I just gotta. It's just kind of weird. Okay. And again, um, the cooling fans on the side are just open port to the bottom, so it's literally just taking the blower fans uh, and blowing the air straight down towards the print bed, not very directed, but it will be below the nozzle. There you go. Uh, it took. 
Woot. You might need to print some of those TPU uh, washers. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the hot end looks pretty good. I'm not. I want. I don't know if it's all metal. I guess we'll investigate that. Well, it's an easy way to just pop this out. If yeah, it goes true. all the way down. So I gotta say, you know, when you take it off, it's not very happy about going back <laughs> on. <laughs> Beware! Don't take it apart on a live stream. <laughs> anybody got 2209s yet uh, up and running in those SKRs and Greg and I well Greg has his lucky duck and mine are, are coming so oh and, and just so everybody in the chat knows too there was a bit of a glitch in VS Code last week that broke platform IO for a second and then Marlin wasn't compiling so I just had to re-download all of the uh, files from the Git repository, and then I switched to the Insider build of VS Code, and that's a lot of nerd words. But I I had a similar problem, but I ended up just having to rebuild reboot my computer, and then it loaded fine. Whew. So okay, as all the tech guys will tell you, which Greg and I are, have you tried turning it off and on? Yeah. Are you giving up on it or no, going plan B? No, I'm just going to... Oh, I see, I see, I see. I think I was a little low on the uh, the mounting. Oh, it's that's hard. a nerd. Ow. What did you do? I just got a shock. Oh, wow. Well, is this plugged in? It is. Maybe unplug it. Yep. So... Just, well, just we'll saying, to check the uh, ground. I just got electrocuted by the top of the frame holding the printer, and the power is off. The switch on the printer is off, but we had it plugged in, but I just got electrocuted. So I'm going to uh, have to double check the ground, make sure it's okay. So much for showing you the hot end. Sorry about that, guys. Well, yeah. we learned about the hot end. We know for a fact there is a hot end, and it's probably a volcano clone-ish thing. Yeah, I don't... Did you get it? No, it doesn't. Maybe leave one screw and continue? Well, yeah, it's just i got to find the right hole to continue with. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, there's usually a retort for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying anything. This is a family-friendly stream. Let's give shout outs to people who aren't here. So I'd like to give a shout out to Cass. <laughs> okay. Definitely doesn't like me. So I'm going to maybe save the screws and put it on after. Okay, except the. I could. But I can't because the uh, way the fan is. Oh, when you turn it on. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to try getting the bottom one in first. Oh, I can see it from the side here. Maybe that'll help. And we learned, don't, yeah, you're right. Don't take the hot end off unless you desperately need to, because, man, <laughs> is that a, a, a lesson in patience and or grabbing the tech hammer and smashing it back on. Oh, uh, interesting. Although the tech hammer's at work, I think. Yeah. The problem is, is these screws go through the fins of the the cold end and if you're not lined up with that and the hole you're not getting the screw back no. in and i've seen this on lots of uh chinese clone printers got it he's got two which means he should be able to get three and four in theory all right now who had the uh pool for 15 minutes to get the screws back in just kidding <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a pool it's too cold it's canada yeah that and there's a wind warning today 200 kilometers an hour now oh boy they just shut down highways <laughs> so once you tighten those up that should get rid of the sloths 
Don't shove your finger in the fan. What's going on? Is there a little slop in okay, the carriage? Okay, there is a slop in the carriage, but it looks like you attach it, tighten it from the back. Oh no. No. So the whole, like it's not, it's not a bad thing, but this is definitely, yeah. what, oh, what about the top? No, I'm going to have to take the fan off to get rid of the slop. Ugh, oh, he's taking it apart again, guys. Do it after. Don't, don't do it now. But, well, we can't print. You can too, why no, not? No, you'll never level it. Oh, it's not moving up and down. It's moving You're, side to side, yo. Well. You're fine. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm doing it again. Oops, I did it again. Oh, there is a... Oh, wait a minute. Let's see if this... Are you unplugging stuff? Yeah. There's an LED that goes to the hot end on this, so it lights up cool colors when you turn it on, and that's what Greg's just unplugged. No, it was the fan. Oh. I think. No, that's the LED. The fan is plugged in back over here. Oh, it, goes up the, it goes up the drag chain and out. There's no taking that thing off. So I'm really disassembling it now. You shouldn't do this. You should have prepped it together. Actually, these were loose. So so when you get it, check all your screws. Do you want to check those ones? I, well, yep. I'm uh, disassembling this. Greg's taking stuff apart. Why are you taking it more apart? Uh, to tighten the other screw. I'm firmly opposed to stuff. Almost got the right. All right. Oh yeah, and don't use the uh, like I, I'm using the Allen keys that came with it, but these are crappy Allen keys. So if you have an iFixit lying around, that's probably a better option. Oh yeah, this is loose. Okay, um, there we go. The other thing I noticed is on the top there's a, a flange bearing that guides the threaded rod, and I don't know if you can see my finger. Yeah, straight so through this corner right here. But. Um, so if you're looking at the screen, it's bottom left, but uh, the flange bearing is actually trapped by two screws on the edge. And uh, I can see that causing a problem with uh, some Z layers. So well, we'll it'll see. be interesting to see. Okay, so this, so behind the hot end, there are two screws that hold it to the, ga or the carriage and they were definitely loose. So. Um, check that because it'll be a, a just horrible to try to level that if it's uh, if they're not secure. So, <laughs> but it's done because I don't want to have to take it apart again. So, <laughs> going back to Timothy's comment, don't take it off unless you have to. Absolutely, I but we had to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was it, it was definitely loose. Um, How's the? This is weird how they captured a, this. We'll need to adjust that too. Adjust which? The um, eccentric nut. Oh, actually, these are already worn. Like really worn. Uh, they must have tested it, maybe. <laughs> All right, so it worked better when I did the bottom ones first. Okay, I see you so. See if I can do the bottom ones first this time. First I'll have time. To wait, because I can't see where the. Okay. Oh, you get your finger underneath and hold the fan up. It definitely. I'm an expert now. <clears throat> so if you need these taken apart, you can ship them to Canada. Uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll put it back together and you can and pay we'll... for shipping back. That's cheap, right? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Because that seems like the right thing to do. Crazy Canucks. Alright, so almost worked. I don't see the nut actually. Nope. It, there's no. no nut on there? No, it's just a smooth. No eccent eccentric nut? It doesn't look like it. The, those are just regular nuts. Everything's regular nuts. I don't see an eccentric one. This is what you get. Oh. So you might have to loosen them and drop them. So I might be wrong guys, but at first glance, um, uh, there is no eccentric nut on the carriage. 
just looking, making sure. No, those are all regular. And then those are all regular. That's regular. Yeah, I don't see any. Okay, so that's nice and solid. But yeah, I'm unless I'm blind, I don't see them. No, I think they. Uh, I think you have to loosen them and move them. Oh, look at that wheel. Yeah. So the the, the one wheel on the gantry is very chewed up. It's got gouges. I, in I'm the not. Wheel. I'm not sure they use the highest quality wheels. I don't know. Is uh, big. What is her name? Big Tree Hope. Yeah, I don't we'll know. Issue. We'll have to send her a message. But yeah, it it. I think they're missing the eccentric nuts on all of these. This wrench is for the hot end, not the, the nuts. Okay, so we now know what they're missing. So they have no eccentric nuts on this. That belt's tight, which is good. Uh, the belt tension's good, so I'll give them that. Um, the Z rod is angled forward a bit. But it's moving, so that's okay. Yeah. Um, it looks like this switch is actually uh, bent, like it was bent back. Uh, yeah, kind of. So there's a few cosmetics. Um, yeah, oh. there there is no eccentric nuts on any of the axes, and you know what? That's something you can fix. Yeah. After the fact. Shouldn't have to. So um, that's a a, a big. Uh, that's a big change and it's probably saves them a little bit of cash i'm sure yeah but that's and this this bed is uh like tacky it's it's almost like a silicon or something you know what? it's very it's pretty, built it's pretty good okay so i've turned her on i've got the screen here it's all in uh can they see this screen you might want to move that let's see if i can adjust this camera one sec we might be 24, but we only have four cameras. Sorry. <laughs> uh, no, it has to come right down. Here, let's turn off this camera. Or light. Or light. Yeah. What, right. if, what if you tip the, the front camera at the... Yeah. Hold on. Whoa, sorry guys. He didn't mean to make you sick. Yeah, so there is none. Uh, the other thing I'll say too is that all wheels on all the access do show sign of wear already. And that this, the wear that I, I see on them, I would expect after printing uh, a lot of hours, like uh, probably 3,000. Um, we're going to have to replace the wheel on the extruder side um, of the gantry here because it there's literally a three millimeter chunk gourd out of it yeah so so i think they they'll need to tweak their quality control a little bit and like this one that's yeah just, that's just spinning it's a spinner yeah so we're gonna have to get an adjustment method in there so that we can pull these easier towards each other yeah. so we're connected up i'm gonna go and we're now in english we're so, always in english i mean bonjour should I try to hit level? Uh, Do I dare? Yeah. Let's, let's let's crank this down first. Chicken. So well, first thing with every bed, and this one's a little more forgiving than those flexi mats on the enders, but yeah, uh, yeah always crank your bed down before you hit level because you don't know where that Z switch ended up. And watch as it goes down because if it's going to crash, you can just tap that Z switch, which is on the side with the extruder and the uh, Are you lead rod. Yep, I'm all the way tight. Right. Yeah. And this is open. Well, no, this is, see, this is, if this stays here and the bed moves back yeah. far enough. So cable management a little. Yeah, well, well. Oh, so they do it? have cable management, <laughs> uh, but they've actually ran it. So they're depending on the Bowden tube, which is bent at a, oh, a 90 and then another 90, like a U. Uh, so that we're, we're going to want to maybe even do a drag chain up to the yeah. filament runout sensor. Which it has a filament runout sensor, guys. Yeah, it does. <laughs> okay, so okay, let's home this first. Alright. 
been a long time since I heard an A9 480. Oh, this? You went the wrong way? No. Yeah, you did. I went to the right. No? Yeah. Well, this one's all the way maxed. Oh. Turn. Yeah, yes. that's the way I turned. Yeah, right. It must have bound on something. Or, or the, or the screws just spinning. That's what it is. I can see the screw spinning underneath. Right there, that one's up. And it just shut off. What? Halfway through home, it just shut off. Did it again. Okay, every time we touch this bed wire, it's shutting off. Oh, we might have a short. So, we're just going to check the bed for a dead short. So, it's that way? Or up and over? Or? Mm, let's just... Okay, let's, let's flip it upside down and then everyone can maybe see. Did this come back a bit? No. It doesn't look shorted. No, it doesn't look shorted. It doesn't look like they can even touch. But every time we were touching the bed wires, it shorted. So that could be something inside the bottom of the case. So I'd say there's a little work to do before we even print. Yeah. And we won't make them watch all the work. <laughs> no, I'm sure you guys don't want to see that. So right now, I think we're going to have to like leave it like this we're gonna to have to open the bottom up again and check to see where the shorts coming from but it's definitely every time maybe switch over that oh it's over here isn't it okay, it's right here oh, okay but every time we were huh now we got nothing oh there it goes okay just yeah don't i'm okay with electrocution it's 24 volts guys but i'm if you're gonna touch stuff, only touch it with one hand. This is the experience. Okay, just all. Hey. That still makes me nervous. Unless the this makes me nervous. Okay, we're almost at the switch. And we are way off. Yeah, yeah the switch is. Uh, switch. Do you have a ruler? Here? Yep. I am interested. Yeah. Yeah. Someone took my ruler. It was right oh, here. It is. Oh, perfect. Cuz, can you measure from the bottom of the nozzle, mm -hmm. roughly bottom, to, and we're going to go to the top of the gantry. Like, but here, like. So measure the distance between here and here. Um, it's a lot over. It's. So I'd 30. say it's 35. So you're gonna get or your three. your 270. I was just curious as to where it stopped, right? Because it it says what 270 is the build height. Yeah. So you're gonna get your 270 out of it for sure. Well, we can definitely lower the end stop. Yeah, we're gonna have to bring that down. How much? Um, mm -hmm. probably almost almost a centimeter. All right. But I think we should shut it off before we hook something. Yeah. But we, so that's what that's what we're gonna do guys we're gonna yep. lower the Z we're gonna shut it off we're gonna tear apart go through the wiring to make sure there's no dead shorts now so the build is done yeah but we're gonna have to do a little bit uh, fine-tuning before we can throw the test pin off which I know is we wanted to get one started today but um, yeah at least at least it's together and well uh, mostly functioning so uh, a couple takeaways, eccentric nuts are missing. There seems to be a couple shorts. So we're gonna double check and figure out uh, what that's all about. Um, no screws missing. No. Uh, <laughs> no um, screws missing because there was only eight screws. Do you wanna switch back to the other cam? Yeah, so we, so can, we can talk at them. Yeah, whoa, let's turn this off. There we go. Hey everybody. And let's uh, let's hi, see. we're back. Turn this off because the fan is quite loud. So, yeah, so um, the uh, eccentric nut, eccentric nut, 
Um, the rollers. I have an extra one if we need it. Are, I have a whole set of rollers. Yeah, so we're good. We're good. So I will double check that I have rollers. We, we won't, I'll have to pick up an eccentric nut. Um, the bill was the sound of the deck. Other than that, um, I gotta say, it's not it, bad. It's not bad, especially for the price. But so, okay, here's here's the so we'll see question. we'll see how well it prints. This, out of the box, would you buy this or would you buy like a the TiVo version or the Creality version over this out of the box? Like, what do you think? I like this one because number one the hot end seems like it it uh, can do more materials yeah you have and uh, that's the same as so, the tiva one though. yeah okay okay yeah, i, I did i didn't know that yeah. one uh i like that it has an skr and so it's upgradable so it's 32 bit so i think the 32 bit and the hot end would sway me to go with this over an ender or and, and honestly, so, I, I kind of agree until the like the major manufacturers catch up and start putting UART or yep. changeable boards in there. With I know this one doesn't have Trinamics. It would be nice, if it but did. I mean, you got to save money somewhere. Yeah. Oh, and uh, the we we can't finish the unboxing without uh, fully assembling the duck. So there you go. You guys are right. You have to decorate your. Peppa Pig Duck. Yeah, you get all the bling. There's even more. So, hey, you guys, uh, you guys have been awesome. Thanks for all the questions. Um, Thanks for joining us. Thanks for, like, subscribing to the channel, too. That's, uh, uh, I got to say, the, the amount of people who's been uh, discovering us and uh, watching the guides and everything mm -hmm. has been fabulous. Yeah, you guys um, are awesome. The feedback has been great, so uh, keep that up. If there is something that we have uh, uh, missed out on or you want a little more information about, Glad um, to show you, yeah. we have our groups and we you can chat with us. Uh, we're happy. We're on a lot of the different forums for the different printers too. Yeah, I opened up our Facebook group now, so it's uh, public instead of private. Um, so you can invite friends and stuff and they don't have to wait to get in. Yeah. But like, hey, send us messages, uh, ask us questions. We're always there for you. And uh, if you have any topics, yeah, shoot them out. All right. Well, I think that uh, does it for us today. And so thanks. And uh, see you next time. Ciao.